The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. Well, if there were a couple of aggressive growth stocks that you should know about, we'd call on our aggressive growth stock strategist, Brian Boland, to talk more about it. So that's what we did, and he's here with me now. There's a couple of uh, stocks in a couple of different areas here, a couple of different sectors that you like. One is uh, in the medical device sector, Nuvasiv, N-U-V-A, the ticker. Right, and I have to straighten up for this one. Yes, <laughs> this is because a, they deal with the back. They deal with the spine, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, uh, I've told other people that uh, my sister had a problem with her, with her back a few years back, about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. and we went to a number of specialists here in Chicago and, uh, you know, a number of them admitted to us that basically they don't know exactly how it all works. But, you know, over the last 10 years, uh, obviously, there's been some advancements in, in medical uh, devices and technology so it's encouraging have your doctors say yeah I don't know yeah but, you know it was <laughs> it was really uh, a, a surreal experience because the guy was trying to give us Eastern and Western type medicines I you, see. Know, you know uh, things with uh, the spine uh, acupuncture uh, acupuncture thank yeah. you Terry right speaking of uh, uh, hitting the mark with acupuncture uh, this is a Zach's rank number one rank buy stock so okay. uh, strong buy it has a growth style score of B and a value score of D. And you know that I like that yes. uh, when it has that divergence there because, uh, you know, growth investors pay more for a stock than value investors. So I want to see uh, different ends of the rank there or of the, of the style score. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, uh, you know, pretty decent earnings history here. Four of the last six quarters have been beats and the last two have been uh, consecutive beats. The company reports tonight after the bell. And today's the 28th of July, so after the close of business today, that report comes out. Right, and uh, there is a positive earnings ESP, and that's a proprietary thing we have here at Zacks that lets us know if there's a good potential for an earnings beat. Right. At 4%, it, you know, it's not the biggest that we've seen, but it does give us some, uh, some hope for this stock for the report later tonight. Okay. Well, uh, overall, they've got a good earnings history. Yeah. Right? So there's that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The other one is in uh, optical networking, Neophotonics. Right. Neophotonics, optical networking. And, you know, I like this overall macro play that's been going on in the economy here, and it's all about data centers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Facebook just recently said that they're building their fifth data center, and it's going to be somewhere uh, in Texas, if I recall. I don't know if it's Houston or Austin or something like that. but. The idea it's their fifth one, and these are multi-hundred million dollar investments. Uh, and I like the supply chain into that. Neophotonics is one of those. You know, you're going to want to have high speed, you know, fiber optic cables going into these data centers for uh, Facebook. Uh, other entities like Google and Apple are also building these data centers. Uh, so I like this idea. It's a Zach's rank number one. Uh, and it has that growth style score of A, which we always like. Mm -hmm. It has a value score of B, so, you know, I... I not maybe, your optimal. Not, not exactly what I want to see here, but maybe that means it's still a value right now. And over time, as the stock moves higher, it'll become less of a value. But the growth is uh, still there, I think. You know, three of the last uh, four quarters were beats. And, I, you know, they, they were very large beats as well. There was a 115% positive earnings surprise in, in the most recent quarter. The valuation here is good. There is a slight premium uh, in the forward uh, PE, but the other metrics that investors typically look at, price to book or price to sale, the stock trades at a significant discount. I'm thinking that uh, if I remember right, the numbers were uh, a one uh, price to book and one price to sales, whereas the industry average was trading three uh, for both of those metrics as well. So okay. sizable discount uh, on that metric, but slight premium on the forward. If we take a look at the chart here, we see the stock is trading just a little bit under $10 here and reports uh, next week, uh, end of the week, I guess, the earnings? sixth. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, earnings will be the, the 6th of August. Okay. Uh, there isn't a uh, uh, earnings ESP for this right now, but that could change over the next week. Okay, own either one. I do not. All right, we'll take your word for it. Check out any other stock commentary, stock picks, or stock picking strategies that you might be interested in on our website, zags.com. If you don't get over there and check them out, you don't know if you're going to be interested in them. So you can link to them right all off the home page. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget, 
You can subscribe to our videos there and even comment on them. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.